I wish I could be with you tonight as you celebrate the 75th anniversary of Altrusa International. Having been a member of the Huntington chapter of Altrusa, I know firsthand the breadth of each chapter's commitment to its community. You have selected a vital issue as your biannual theme, literacy. I salute you for recognizing the need to fight illiteracy and for taking an active role in helping those around you learn to read. Your Downstairs at the YWCA program is admirable. Giving women the chance to re-enter the workforce helps promote self-sufficiency and is the perfect complement for your literacy drive. Illiteracy is a problem that concerns the entire country. More people need to help stop this devastating dilemma, and you are starting the process with your programs. Supplying new and used books to the Head Start program is a wonderful way to begin the fight against illiteracy. Tutoring non-readers continues the fight against illiteracy. Providing scholarships to Ball State, one of the fine institutions of learning in Indiana, encourages students to strive to their highest goals and also allows them to receive an ed education so that they may help themselves and others in the battle against illiteracy. We can all be grateful for the remarkable work done by our First Lady to raise the public's awareness of this issue. Barbara Bush is correct when she diagnoses illiteracy as the ball and chain of modern existence. Focusing her attention on the fight against illiteracy encourages volunteers' help with the literacy campaign. It helps a community for a person who cannot read, cannot begin to live or work up to his or her potential. They are denied many of life's pleasures and all too many of its necessities. Illiteracy deprives a person of the ability to read a prescription, to order dinner from a menu in a restaurant, or even to peruse a newspaper to find out the events of the day. Poet Emily Dickinson said, I dwell in possibility. Reading deals not just with practical, writing a resume or reading the classified section, but also opens up horizons that otherwise would not be possible. If we can read, we can live as many lives as we wish. Open a book and exchange Kansas for Oz. Chase a great white whale named Moby Dick. Float down the broad Mississippi in the company of Huck Finn. Explore Robert Frost's New Hampshire, the London of Nicholas Nickleby, Hemingway's Spain, or J.R. Tolkien's Land of the Hobbits. The work of Altrusa International opens limitless possibilities for your citizens to imagine worlds far beyond ordinary life. By giving others the ability to read, you make not only their lives better, but yours as well. Teaching reading allows people to find instruction and entertainment, information and inspiration. In today's world, with constantly changing fashions, fads and trends, reading provides one constant in our lives. Reading provides a glow of inspiration and perspective that ordinary lives cannot achieve. The imaginary characters and locations in books connect us with people and places, ideas and experiences that enrich our lives. The ability to read allows one not only to carry out the basic requirements of daily life, but also to use imagination to protect the future by looking at the past. You are shining examples of the Hoosier tradition of community spirit. Because of you, the dark shroud of illiteracy will be lifted for many, and their worlds will become brighter places. You have my appreciation and deep admiration. The Vice President joins me in sending you our very warmest greetings and best wishes. We are confident that in years to come, Altrusa International will continue to be a source of strength and a beacon of hope for many in your community. Good luck in your future projects, and God bless you.